everyone. Before I start talking about today's topic, I would just like to mention that my coffee goal is still up on my coffee page, and I'm like so close to being able to purchase the um, video editing software. So if you would like to help me with that, you can head over to my coffee page, and the link is always in the description. So, yeah. Anyway, so, well, Ramadan Mubarak to my Muslim subscribers. Um, and, yeah, it's Ramadan, and it's also mental, mental, <laughs> mental Health Awareness Month. And I found it interesting that Ramadan and Mental Health Awareness Month were in the same month this year. Anyway, so I just want to talk about the five things that I wish I had have known when I started drawing when I was younger because I'm 18 now and I started taking art seriously when I was about 12 and I mean I'm glad I did because now I'm able to do stuff with art but there are just some things that I wish I had have done a little bit differently and it's kind of in, in line with mental health so yeah. <laughs> anyway, the first thing is having a life outside of art. And basically not um, just putting everything, like my all, into art. Well, it's okay to put your all into things, but basically what I did is I only drew and I didn't do anything else. Well, I would write sometimes, but for the most part, I just drew all the time and that was good for um progressing quickly and if I had not have done that I would not be at the level that I'm on now but as far as mental health is concerned um <laughs> last year around October when I wasn't able to draw because of my arm it had started hurting and whatnot um because that was the only thing that I did I didn't really know how to handle not being able to do it and it was just not a really fun time and so I got really stressed and stress just made everything worse so I just it's okay to do other things outside of art and it's okay to not draw all the time basically and the second point is drawing isn't everything um <laughs> I didn't really realize what I was doing was wrong until earlier this year in February when someone was like what do you like to do and at the time I wasn't able to draw because my arm was bothering me and so I didn't want to give that as an answer because she was trying to like put together something so we could go do something fun or something and I realized that I did not know what I like to do outside of drawing and that's a problem because like like I, as I've um, already been able to gather from experience when you're not able to draw and that's the only thing that you've been doing like when you're physically not able to draw suddenly and that's the only thing you've been doing it's kind of hard to deal with that because drawing was my everything. That was like all I did and all I thought about and that's where all of my my resources were going towards and just not being able to do that suddenly was not fun and not good for my mental health. So, yeah. And this is kind of similar to the last two points and that's having other hobbies that aren't art related. Um, I'm a writer, I write stories for fun, and I don't really consider that a hobby that's like too far removed from drawing because um, for me they kind of go hand in hand, like I draw stuff that's from my stories and my stories inspire me to draw, so um, being able to write still while well, my arm was hurting, well I wasn't writing physically, I was like I use like the speech recognition thing on my phone to to do my story. So I like spoke my story instead of writing it and typing it so I wouldn't hurt myself. 
And that was cool and whatnot because I was able to, to do a lot with that, but it wasn't cool at the same time because while I'm progressing in my story, it's like, oh my gosh, I want to draw all of these scenes and I want to draw these characters, but I couldn't because, oh, I'm hurting. I cannot draw right now. And I just, it would be nice to have a hobby outside of art, which I don't. Well, right now, I don't know, my hobby has kind of become doing my hair. <laughs> I don't know. But outside of that, I don't really have any other hobbies because I can't do my hair all of the time. And I probably do. No, I don't want to do my hair all the time, but <laughs> that has, well, it kind of has something to do with it. But um, it's nice to have hobbies outside of art that aren't art related so that when you do them, you don't really think about art, when, especially when you're not able to do art. Um, and also to just take a break from art sometimes, which is, which is, it's okay to take a break from drawing sometimes. And, yeah, and the fourth point is, there is a such thing as drawing too much. And this isn't really mentally, like, mental health related, but it's more of a physical health thing. And I did not realize that you could draw too much and hurt yourself until a couple of years ago. February 2017. Yay! Anyway, so I was doing a coloring book and it was 30 pages and I only had, I had a small time frame that I was working with because I had to get it printed because I was going to be selling it at the Savior's Day convention, which is in February. And I didn't have a lot of time to do it, so I like rushed through it and did 30 pages in a few days and that is when my arm was like well at that time it was just my wrist and it was like what are you doing you derp <laughs> and it started hurting and I didn't take it seriously I was like yeah I'm gonna draw anyway and that was not wise of me and it's just it's oh, don't draw too much basically because you can physically hurt yourself and when you do, it's not fun because then it's like, okay, especially if art is the only thing that you do, it's, it's difficult because it's like, what else do I do with my time? And yeah, not just being able to draw while my arm hurts, it, it makes me feel like I'm un not being productive and I don't like that feeling. So um, it's just really nice to not draw too much and to have other things to do outside of drawing. And this is the fifth point, and that is drawing is not a substitute for therapy or talking about your feelings. And I'm a really closed off person. I don't like talking about how I feel and that's just that's just not something I like doing. And so what I would do is I would use art to channel my feelings and to, I would use it as a way of, it's kind of like journaling, but with drawing, that's kind of like what I was doing, um, without knowing that that was what I was doing. And I also used my stories to kind of vent a little bit. Like I would write when I was upset and that helped me a lot, but as far as drawing is concerned or writing, um, if you're going through something or you're having a difficult time, you should just talk to someone and you should not just hold everything in. Even if you're like using drawing or writing as a way to get things off of your chest, you still need to talk to people and seek help, especially if it's something serious. And I just think that's really, really important. And those are the things that I have on my list. Those are the five things. And yeah, I, I hope that helps you in some way. And I just wish I had have known those things um, when I started drawing because, um, I mean, at 12 years old, I mean, I could have like, like tried to do other things with my time, but I didn't. I just only focused on drawing. And even though I do write, um, it was never like my main thing, it was always drawing. And, yeah, that's all I have to say. 
Anyway, um, as you've no doubt seen, this is a watercolor painting, and this is of my OC Myra, and she is in my story. And, um, I realized after I finished painting it that her mouth is a little off-center, so I went on Photoshop and I, like, I fixed it a little bit. So it looks a little bit better. And I had a lot of fun doing that. Okay. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to support me and my art, like I said, I have a coffee, and I also have a Threatless shop where you can get t-shirts and prints and whatnot. This is not on Threatless, but I have other things on Threatless, like the Pretzel Fan Club t-shirt, and, um, what else? Um, I'm on a roll t-shirt, so if you like stuff like that, you can head over to my, my Threatless and check it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.